Oppo is the latest company to take the wraps off its customized version of Android 12 in the form of ColorOS 12, which launches in beta today. On the face of it, it's a pretty iterative update from ColorOS 11, which was already fairly stable and feature-filled, but that doesn't mean we don't have plenty of new stuff to dig into. So we're trying out a very early pre-release version of ColorOS 12 on the Find X3 Pro here, and firstly, because this is Android 12, you of course get all the privacy improvements that that platform version brings. So ColorOS integrates the new privacy dashboard, letting you see which apps are using sensitive permissions like camera and location, and for those permissions in particular, whenever an app is using your camera or mic, you'll get this little dot in the top right corner of the screen. So far, perfectly normal for an Android 12 build. And as in other versions of Android 12, there are system level quick toggles to quickly enable or disable camera or mic access for all apps. The other big change in Android 12 for Pixel phones is Material U and the new dynamic color scheme, and while this isn't quite in ColorOS yet, Oppo has built its own version of this feature. When you change your wallpaper, the color scheme will automatically adjust based on key accent colors in your background. And the personalization menu can even let you choose which particular colors are pulled from the backdrop, or use one of Oppo's preset color themes. Like Samsung's version of this feature, the colors you choose here only affect the system UI and the built-in apps like Calculator, Settings, and Clock, so it seems like we'll have to wait a little longer for support to come to Google's Material U apps like Gmail here, which currently aren't compatible with Oppo's theming system. Another thing to note here is there are a ton of new wallpapers available in ColorOS 12 with plenty of styles, and most of them actually look pretty good and play into the whole color theming angle as well. The Always On Display has been expanded too in ColorOS 12, with the option to include Oppo's animated Omoji, more on those later, alongside Portrait Silhouette, which is basically the same canvas AOD feature from Oxygen OS on OnePlus phones. It pulls out line art based on a photo and uses that to decorate your Always On Display. Elsewhere, Oppo says it's emphasized light and space to make ColorOS 12 feel more fluid and natural. Information density is definitely a little lower in this build, you can't see as much content on screen at the default zoom level, but what is there definitely feels clean and uncluttered. Scrolling fluidity is said to be improved too, with an overhauled system for tracking scrolling inertia in this new version of ColorOS. It's hard to notice in this particular build though, and to be honest, with a 120Hz screen like this, ColorOS has always felt pretty smooth. Oppo has also drastically improved its one-handed mode. Whereas before this had to be activated via the quick settings menu, now ColorOS 12 has basically copied Android 12's native one-handed mode, putting it behind a swipe down on the gesture area. As with vanilla Android 12 and iOS of course, the bottom of the screen collapses down to help you reach stuff at the top of the display. Virtual RAM is another feature we're starting to see more manufacturers introduce that is also in ColorOS 12. It isn't the same as adding more real actual RAM to your device, but it could help mid-range phones and below to keep apps alive by siphoning the internal storage to act like extended RAM, just like virtual memory on a PC. Of course, on a device like the Find X3 Pro here with 12GB of real RAM, you're not going to notice much of a difference, but it's there and we'd expect Oppo to make plenty of noise about it in upcoming phone launches. Android 12 is also big on accessibility, and Oppo has taken things a step further by introducing this quick color vision test, which can help tweak the UI's colors to match your own color perception, taking into account visual differences like color blindness. Likewise, the company says it's improved localization in certain languages after complaints from customers in some countries for ColorOS 11. Oppo's multi-window support has improved too, with new gestures for throwing apps into a floating window, resizing them, or pinning them to the side of the display. It'll be pretty familiar if you've used the latest version of MIUI on a Xiaomi phone, and it's a lot more convenient than the old system, which hid things behind a lot of layers of menus. It's a lot easier now to jump between a full-screen app and a floating window. And finally, Omoji. These are Oppo's ancestor Apple's Memoji, and yeah, the style of these 3D animated characters is pretty much a direct copy of the same feature from the iPhone. You can use one of the preset characters here or create your own from scratch, customizing your face, hair, and any accessories. This is a very early version of this feature, and right now you're fairly limited in what you can do with them, but face tracking for facial expressions did seem pretty accurate to me, especially considering it's only using that single front-facing camera. So that's it for now for ColorOS 12. Stable updates should start rolling out in the West beginning with the Oppo Find X3 Pro in December. Then in 2022, Oppo says the first devices with ColorOS 12.1 will ship, including new features like PC Connect, letting you directly control your phone from your PC. It's pretty similar to the same feature we've been seeing on Huawei phones for the past couple of years. So let us know what you think of ColorOS 12 down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.